What's that? Oh, there's so much. It's like a bank heist. That is Gucci. Welcome back to Treasure and with guys. And we're back at this unit. We paid about $500 for it, though we split with Storage Stalker. As you can see in here, we went through it. We cleared it out. There was a lot of stuff in there. We did not have a lot of time. So we went through, got all this stuff out and set aside. A whole bunch of stuff that looks really good to go through right now. And I think we have some really, really expensive items. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna sit down here and do it. You know, the ground's kind of far away when you're tall, but look at that. You know what that pattern is? Most people recognize that pattern. I know I did. That is Gucci, but this bag is not in that good of shape. If it's authentic Gucci, what do you guys think? You think it's real or fake? I don't know. I don't think if it was real Gucci, it would fade and rip like that. So probably just a pattern copy. But I set this one aside because I saw what looked like silver stuff in it. Silver and gold. Ooh, there's even toys in it too. All right. Ugh, ew, there's a moldy thing too. That's something moldy. That's the most valuable thing in the in there, right? Of course. All right, so I set this aside because ugh, this is what was sticking out of the bag. This is the only reason I set this aside. It looked like it could have been some type of silver. I'm not too sure. I don't see a maker's mark or I don't see. Actually, there's something written on it. I'm lying. It says W Rogers 817. That tells me nothing. W Rogers 817, but and that's the only reason I set this aside. Everything else, let's see what we got. Ugh, that's money, right? Yeah. Money. This might actually go with that. Does it have a mark on it anywhere? Regal Silver China. Ooh, you think these could be silver? That's a lot of weight in silver if they're silver, but they also look a little tarnished. Maybe they're silver plated. Maybe they're just silver colored. We're not too sure. And we got some wooden toys here. Some type of train, it looks like at one point. The audio goes bad, guys, you hear that? We are literally about 150 feet away from the air, a little airport, so sometimes it gets a little loud in here. But we got that, we have the best thing, one counterfeit chuck shoe, one. Another, ooh, I see, ooh, I see matchbox cars, and there's one in here. That's, that's a, in a second, hold on, set those aside. But, it looks like a circus train, doesn't it? Yep. That's exactly what it looks like. I wonder if it's like uh, Ringling Brothers. And we got like a wood flatbed truck. I don't know if these are old enough to be valuable. You know there's like that weird age in between where if it's like really old and gets vintage, it's worth money. If it's newer, it's worth money. And then there's that age in between where it's kind of just old crap and it hasn't gotten old yet. I don't know where those fall. And that looks like it's definitely part of the circus truck thing. But this is what I didn't even notice in this box. Five matchbox cars. I know some of these can be worth a ton of money. So let's see if we got one. First one, Matchbox. Let's open it up and see what's in them. And there are cars, so that's good. This little guy. Can it focus on him? Yeah. All right, so he might be worth something. Why am I? Okay, let's just let's just hope he's worth something. It's a MB73 Jeep Cherokee. This one's a MB73 Jeep Cherokee too. Are they all the same thing? Uh oh. Are they all different colors at least? Or are they the exact same car? Same car, isn't yep. it? Hmm, I wonder if there's a reason they kept all of them. Let's see. Same thing. Same thing. And the same thing. Yeah, there's five of the exact same. Let me check one more. If there's three out of five that are the exact same looking, then we know we pretty much have, yep, exact same car. We have five of the same exact one. I wonder if it's a valuable one and that's why they kept it. I'm not too sure about that, but five jeep matchbox cars some other old toys and possibly silver i don't know if it's real silver it doesn't look like it but maybe so i actually have no idea what this is or if it's valuable but it definitely looks really really unique and it looks like something i've never seen before because it is what do you think that is and do you think it has any value i have no idea it almost looks like something using some type of ancient ritual or something like yeah. they're gonna summon a demon off of it or something is there anything on the back there's nothing but something to hang it on but it doesn't have like uh nowadays hangers in there this looks old school so i'm guessing it has some age to it too but there's no marks or anything like that on it and the fact that it's like matted with this red around it and it's it's definitely rock. It's not like ceramic or plastic or anything like that. I, I don't know. That's just one of those things. I'm hoping you guys watching, maybe somebody can let me know. Hopefully. So obviously you guys know why we set this aside. It's not really like fantastic what's in their mystery, but it's good value at the flea market. So this is just, uh, it looks like wire stripper if I had to guess right there. Then we have 
a cheap little drill master drill right there but it's dead and no battery we get about five dollars for that that's about it but this one is a dewalt which means it has more value it is missing the battery but we're hoping the batteries are in here let's see and i already see more dewalt right off the top oh well, that's still that his battery look at that another nice dewalt 20 volt max and obviously it works it's not spinning though is it no it's not actually spinning it's just kind of making oh it's not pressed no. huh I have no idea. not sure but it's there and then we got a uh, dewalt something else let's see what that one is just a bunch of drill bits and things like that not bad it all has value and dewalt one of those brands that people will buy just because of the brand the dewalt what's the other one that people are always looking for uh snap on's another one yeah just tools like that just a hammer and the rest of this box just looks like it's a bunch of just random tool oh it's a whole dewalt tool bag look at that that right there is definitely also going to have some value to it without a doubt bunch of little random tools here and there most of it's just like a dollar or two here and there but i'd say it's at least 25 30 dollars worth of tools not including the drill set so definitely think it's pretty valuable on top let's see if we got anything underneath of it we got oh look another one another dewalt that one spins and works perfectly good so we actually have a set of three dewalt drills on here which is pretty cool so more random tools and tool pieces so it's a cat tree container i know that container but it's got drill bits in it. So all in all, I think this thing is, we got about 50 to $100 worth of tools here, which is really good. We also set this box right here aside because it looked like it had more jewelry in it. We found a ton of jewelry in this unit. We don't know how much of it's real, how much of it's costume, but I'm staying right now. The jewelry alone could cover the cost of the whole unit. So everything else is just gonna be profit. Let's see what we got in here. These are fashion earrings. Fashion earrings are a fancy term for just costume jewelry. It's not a real precious metal. In here we got, I don't really know. Some of that could be silver. Some of it could just be costume jewelry. Little ones like this are the ones that I think could be real gold maybe. Look how small that is. You see it? I think yeah. it could be real gold. It might be. Could be, yeah. We just don't know. Like we said, we're gonna have our guy at the flea market take basically all the jewelry boxes we came across and gonna go through and sort it out for us and let us know how much we have in real gold and silver and how much of it's just costume jewelry but other than that guys whoa it's a wells fargo agent look at that that could be worth some money hmm. i'm gonna set that aside and other than that the rest of it looks like obvious costume jewelry but again we're gonna have our guy go through all of it and make sure we don't miss any little pieces so let's set that one aside too Pause the video. I want to remind you guys about the cash giveaway we're doing on December 20th this year. Basically, if we have, say, 200,000 subscribers, we're giving away $200. Get us to a million and we will give away $1,000. So the way to enter, subscribe to the channel, like us on social media, be active, share the video, comment on the videos. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. So inside that gray toe was actually this treasure chest, wicker looking chest, and you guys kind of know I have a thing for chests. When I see chest, I just, I go, I take it. Let's see what we got. Ooh, you know what that color reminds me of right when I see it, right? Tiffany jewelry, oh, yeah. right off the bat. Oh, it's Kato or something, but it's Kato. nothing else. Kato? Yeah. I just found stupid out on a. I think Kato's is like a plus size women's store. Oh, well, it's probably not real jewelry. What do we have in here? More jewelry. More. Like the amount of jewelry and random pieces that came out of this unit is just incredible. This is empty. I really only set this aside because it was a chest, so it could be literally a chest of junk for all I know. I just saw a chest. Oh, look at this. Ooh, you think that's old? Oh, is it broken? See, huh? Is it broken or no? No, no. it's not. And it might be an old Disney coffee mug. It's got a tag on the bottom. Doesn't really give me an age though, but that's pretty cool looking. And there's a lot of Disney collectors. Disney sells fast. What else we got in here? Gift bags. Nothing, nothing. 
Ooh. We need that. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, a card. Still sealed. Think we got anything? Yes. No. Uh -huh. Um, random, random, random. All right, well, this wasn't really excited like I was hoping it was, but just when you see a chest, you gotta get a little bit excited and set it aside. But this one, this one kind of sucks. All right, now let's get into this box here because I saw a lot of little boxes inside of the big box, which is interesting. And I saw this turtle. I don't really know what he's made of, but he definitely looks like he's just not your simple you know, ceramic cheap piece of thing. He looks like he's made of something. I just don't know what. There's actually something written on the bottom, but you can't really read it. So, I don't know what he's made of, but he looks cool, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Cool little turtle. This is, oh, oh, more sewing stuff. I'm so tired of looking at sewing stuff after <laughs> one unit that we bought with the trunks. So much sewing stuff. Looks like a tablet case. What's this? Ooh, it has two jewelry things inside and it's open. Okay, it has those. Those don't look like anything. And this one, which is, oh, other side. Oh, those might be silver. You think so? Yeah, they look like brooches. I don't even know what a brooch is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Pin. Okay, Some of so, them can be expensive. They're like vintage. Yeah, what's that? Oh, I found rings. You think any of these are real? Let's look at this gold one right here. There's no smudge on it. That might be real gold. A lot of times when you pull a fake ring out, you can like kind of see in the back that the paint, the gold tone paint is starting to fade away. These have none of that. These might be real gold. Can you see these? Look at that. They got gems in them too. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Look at the purple one. That one looks even cooler. Can you see it? Yep. Not bad, not bad. We might have a jackpot in jewelry. We really just yeah. don't know right now. We don't know how much money we have in jewelry. How many of it? How much of it's costume? How much of it's real gold? That looks like a what they call it, rosary. Yeah. Um. Hey, coin. That's like finding coins. Let's see. How do we get in here? I think we have any good coins in here? Oh yeah, 1962 coin. We might have silver and gold coins. Guys, I'm gonna have to set these aside until we get outside in the sun because I can't really see them as well in here. It's kind of dark in here. It's getting darker by the moment. We still have more to do. <laughs> Today we've just been going all day in these units. I love it. I'll set that aside right now. Oh, look at all this. More jewelry. Just more and more and more. I'm gonna put it with the rest of it. That guy, he's better be in for a fun day of work on Monday yeah. at the flea market. Today, or whatever day you're seeing this, I'm not sure. But we're recording this on Sunday, so tomorrow when we go, they better be ready. We got a lot. This might be gold right here, you think? I um, can't tell. Me neither. If it's not marked, I just don't know, so I'll just put it aside. Even the one that was marked, I thought was real, was it? Yeah, that's true too. So. What do you think this is? Rocks. Not too exciting. Not too exciting. Let's see what's in this. Ooh. You'll never guess what. <laughs> Jewelry. There's so much. It's like a bank heist. I mean, if this is all real gold and silver, everything was real gold, silver, diamonds. I'm saying we have like a couple hundred, a few hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. But obviously a lot of it might be costume, but even just a few pieces of here and there, if 1% of what we found is gold, we're doing pretty good, I think. Let's look at this one. Also not marked that I can see. Look, it's just filled with jewelry. But we also, oh look. This one's in a bag. I don't know if that's real. But from what we found in here, the owner of the unit was pretty old themselves. So I don't know if jewelry has always been marked or if that's a more recent thing. So some of the jewelry could be vintage and it could be real and old, just unmarked. What do we have in here? I was hoping that to be money, but no. Paper, 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 and more possible gold. Set it aside. What else do we have going? Duff soap. 
Alright. We'll take that. What's yeah. in here? I think that's actually what it is. I don't. Yeah, it is actually. Okay, so. <laughs> that thing. Whatever that Fire is. Brulee set. Yeah, that. This has buttons in it. Alright, let's see what's in here. We have. Ooh, what is that? You see that? Hanger or something? I don't even know. Yeah, no idea. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That one's kind of useless. Let's put that one back in the box. Looks like we have a couple more boxes over here, though, so. What do we got in this one? Ooh, look at that. That's plastic, though. I can feel this. This is Put plastic. A little belt. Yeah. There's a nice bag. Oh, there's something in here. That's where it's at. Big gold, like. 24 karat gold ring. Nope, selling stuff. Yeah. Ah, nothing too exciting there. Let's set this one aside. I think we got, is there one more box in here? There is. One last box in this. Oh, what is that? Ooh, maybe not. What's that? Get, get out. Look at that, you think it's silver? It's seen it. Huh? The game's seen it. That's what these are. That's cool. Huh. All right, I'm gonna set those aside. What's this say on it? I don't know, let's set it aside. I'm going kind of overwhelmed with stuff in this unit. This is more sewing stuff, so. Not gonna have any value. You think these are just CDs? Yes. We gotta check before we go, though. Yeah, they're actual CDs, so. A lot of, again, possible value, but still value in costume jewelry, but if it's real gold, a lot of value. So we got our last little bit of stuff we left out over here. First off, I found this spoon that says it's a presidential spoon that has Abraham Lincoln on it. We set it aside because one, I don't know if it's valuable. Two, I don't know if it's a silver spoon. So it might be valuable, might be silver value. And we set this little coin thing aside because, well, I looked in there and you know what's in here? One, we have some foreign coins and things like that. But something I thought was interesting is there's like very old Chuck E. Cheese tokens that go back. How far did you say? The one that I saw was like 1997. So I mean, not like two or six, not too far yeah. back, but still. 1996 little Chuck E. Cheese tokens and foreign coins and things like that. So again, some of them could be silver, we're not too sure, but there's a lot of stuff in this unit that could be gold, could be silver, could be nothing. It's, the unit's are really a toss up until we have somebody that really knows what they're looking at. Look at all the jewelry. Again, does this sound familiar? Jewelry with some bottle things. Yeah, we're gonna have to set it with the other jewelry too. Look at that. That's a freaking hope diamond and stuff. <laughs> so let's set it aside. Let's see what's in this. Ooh. More jewelry. More. So I know possible. this this whole thing right here. Is yeah. fake. Because I put that in there from that pink bag. Oh, it's all fake? Yeah. It's okay. all that stuff stuck to the magnet. All of it? Yeah. None of it's even silver? Nope. Ah, all right, well, what about the just, drawer? Just that one oh, section. What's that? Uh, readers, digest, sweepstakes. Oh. Oh, no fun. It's like plastic, man. In here, it looks like more so sewing stuff than coins and things this time around, so not too valuable, but it was another jewelry box, so we set it aside. And look at this, we also got a brand new unopened Marvel Superhero Lego kit. I know some Lego things can be worth quite a bit of money, so I was hoping that fell into that category. But anyway, guys, that's all we else got for this unit. Everything else was kind of just dollar here, dollar there, and furniture, so not too exciting. Plus, we had to get through the whole thing today. It was a lot of stuff, but anyway, if you did enjoy the video, Leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for all subscribers we're trying to videos all the time. And if you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description below and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.